Okay, so today I'm gonna make some swordfish for you, and this is my recipe. Um, I've kind of learned a little bit and adjusted it for myself. But this is, I normally make this for the family, but this, I'm gonna show you how to take a recipe that calls for four, four swordfish steaks, but I'm gonna cook one. So how to break that down a little bit. All you're basically gonna do is, if you're making this and you're doing four, follow the recipe. But just one, you can just kind of eyeball it. You don't have to like be exact with what you throw in the bowl for the marinade. I got my swordfish right here. Looks great. So I'm gonna take, uh, What's going on up there? <laughs> Anything specific happening? How should we handle that? Just keep going? Yeah, just yeah. keep going. Okay. All right. Um, so I'm gonna, the, the recipe for this calls for a tablespoon and a half of soy sauce. So basically, just gonna put a little bit in there. There you go. That's probably about half a tablespoon. Then this calls for the same amount, a tablespoon and a half of honey. So I'm just gonna give it like one squirt. And then I have my thyme and oregano. Um, gonna put a little salt in there. A little pepper. That's too much pepper. Go. Then I have my garlic. And then lemon zest. that in there, and fresh parsley. Must be nap time. <laughs> but this is what goes on in my house, you know? Uh, and another one's on the way. So all you're gonna do is whisk this together. This is all ready to go. I'm gonna take my swordfish, and just kind of put it in here. If you're doing more, you can do this in a Ziploc bag. And then, but this is for me, and this is for my lunch today. So I'm just gonna take this and I'm gonna let this probably soak in the fridge for like 10 or 15 minutes. Okay, so I let it marinate for like 10 or 15 minutes. Normally you want it to let marinate probably for like an hour, um, but it's ready to go. Pan is hot, I'm gonna add a little olive oil. Just right in the middle, cause I'm just doing one. Marinate on there. Mix it and put it on. So what you want to do is you want to cook each side five to six minutes. Another thing you definitely don't want to overcook. I guess that's with everything, but um, you know, nobody wants to eat a dry piece of fish. And I love swordfish. I know it's not for everybody, but I love it. And it's really easy. That marinade takes five minutes to throw together. You can make adjustments on your own, make it the way you like it, and then, you know, cook for the family. Cook four or five of these is what I normally do. But this is my lunch today. I'm gonna have this with some brown rice, edamame. I always keep a, a few frozen bags of edamame in the freezer because it kind of goes good with most fish. This is where we do fast motion. Then we wait. 
See, there's no music playing. Cause you gotta hear me talk and everything, so that's usually the entertainment um, why I'm cooking. This is looking pretty close to being time to flip it over. I don't like to put this on high heat, that's medium high, so I have it on seven. I've said this before, mine goes up to like 10. So it's on like seven, it's good heat. And when the fish starts to firm up, that's when you know to flip it. So we're gonna flip it. And look at that. And this is just on this grill pan. I normally do this on my grill outside. But since it's just me, this is, this is the way, and this is the way for most of you would probably do it at home, unless it's the summertime, grilling outside. But you can see like this, it starts to firm up and that's kinda when you know it's gonna be done. So we're gonna have another five minutes on this side and then it's ready to go. So now we wait. Watch and wait. Don't leave things cooking on the stove top. Unless it's like you're boiling water, you're in the kitchen. But I mean, part of cooking and baking is paying attention. With stuff like this that cooks fast, I, you know, I like to pay attention, not leave it. You turn the fan on. Okay, so for me, this is getting pretty close to being done. And I cook a lot of fish, so I can kind of automatically cut when it's done, but it's really close. In fact, I'm gonna turn the heat off. I'm gonna let it go another minute, and then I'm gonna serve it up, and I'm gonna have my lunch. So here's my lunch, the swordfish I just made. Looks fantastic. The marinade juices are flowing into my brown rice. I got some um, lemon wedges, which is always good with seafood. So I'm gonna put a little fresh lemon juice on there. And give this a taste. Oh yeah. Oh, right away, it's like butter. Mm. It's like butter, it's just melting in my mouth. I can taste all the herbs, the basil, the oregano. Um, I mean, the basil and the thyme. I can taste like the fresh garlic, the parsley. Mm. It is so good. I don't even know what to say. Very simple and it's fantastic. It's gonna be a great lunch for me. So I'm gonna finish eating and I hope you enjoy it. Try it at home. That's all I got to say. The wood works.